Last year, we took a huge step in passing this legislation through both the House and the Senate, and though ultimately the bill was vetoed, there has been a huge momentum behind it still in our local communities. We're now over 30 communities, and in counties are adopting this ordinance on their own. Last year, over 18,000 people in Illinois died from lung and heart diseases that were directly related to smoking. And we know that last year, we spent in Illinois $1.9 billion to treat people, Medicaid dollars, to treat people with those diseases. This is a preventable disease. Today, if you talk to a smoker, nine out of 10 people who smoke today say, I started before I was 18. And so, with the 18,000 people we have dying each year in this state, I think you only need to know one to understand what the disease looks like, what it does, and how it is so preventable. For me, it was my dad who began smoking when he was 14 and died at 57, a very painful and ugly death. The local communities are behind us. Law enforcement is with us. The general public wants to see Tobacco 21, and now it's our responsibility as a General Assembly to take action. So thank you for being here today. I look forward to the passage of this and the governor's consideration of this important policy.